What's up and good morning guys. Welcome back to another video coming to you live from Lake Rhino Ranch. We've had an immense amount of rain in the last uh, like 24-ish hours and you can see we've got really great drainage that comes off the property all the way to about here which we're almost to the front of the property and then it kind of stops. So the next day or so we need to get out here with the uh, Mini X and actually finish that drainage all the way out of the property. That way we don't have giant sitting puddles at our gate. And speaking of puddles, the OBS here is an absolute mess from the puddles up on the dirt road you guys will see when we get out later this thing is filthy and we're gonna put the uh, clear bra to the test today and see how well we can clean it off and while we do our best here to avoid the puddles some are just unavoidable today we're picking up the old PJ trailer here again we're gonna run back over to Sergio so we can finish up I guess phase one of all the wiring and the lighting that's going to be going onto this trailer you can see our phoenix t3 lights ghosted in since we smoked the lens on them so this side was all done yesterday today we're going to be working on the other side as well as our deck lighting getting the control boxes put in of course now it gets sunny out of nowhere we'll get it hitched up here to the obs and i gotta say for not having a uh, electric tongue jack on this thing i really do enjoy the one that they put on here though and once you're barely off the ground there Give it a little yank, and you don't gotta sit there and crank it for an hour. And well, now you can see the extent of the dirtiness here on the uh, OBS. The good news is most of the roads out by us are all DG, so it's not like super clay stick on mud. And yes, Cletus, I'm sure your stepmama's cooter is dirtier than that. And I shouldn't be complaining, but we all know I like to keep my trucks clean. Hence that nice clean truck, that nice clean truck. Even my beater OBS over there is still clean. Now you see guys, when I said we were gonna light this trailer up, I think I underestimated. We're gonna light this trailer up. Sergio, you got a F in stock for me? Yeah. I think that's enough for the trailer, right? I think. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, that might that might just be enough. I think we should get like three more pallets. <laughs> now Sergio either loves me or hates me because anytime I got a project here, we just keep adding to it and adding to it as we go. But one thing I noticed last night when backing this trailer up into the driveway is there's no reverse lights on this thing and it's really hard to see what's behind you. Gotta make sure we got room for the license plate to go on. And then I wanna put at least four reverse lights on the back here. So what I'm thinking is we'll go like that, because obviously we can't put them straight. Otherwise, we won't be able to get too wide on this side with the license plate. But if we angle them to that way, and then on the other side to that way. Ideally, I'd put big LED pods back here, but being that the dovetail's so low to the ground, on driveway approaches, I don't want anything to come off of that. And then I don't want to cut out a big old chunk out of that bad boy to run a flush mount in. So we're just throwing a curveball on my plan here. He says, we can, no problem, mount these up right there and keep them up off the ground so they're not hanging below the actual frame itself, but these will be brighter. Yeah, the way brighter than those. I just worry about that looking kind of goofy. I like how these are slim line, a little skinnier, not the brightest things in the world. All right, so last curveball for us. We've got these Phoenix lights, what are these? Uh, surface mounts, so six what? LED surface mount. These are actually gonna be brighter than these boogers, which are it's like some Chinese big rig light. Um, these Phoenix will be lighter and they're smaller, so they're easier to fit with still leaving room for the license plate. Yep, see it like that. Are you sure you don't want to go with this? I think the angle looks cool. Think that looks basic? Should we go at the angle? Kick him at an angle. Other angle. There you go. <laughs> I kind of like that, Sergio. Yeah, me too. Go 40, you already have lights on the side, so. All right, we're going at an angle, Sergio. Well, these angles got to be perfect. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, Sergio doesn't want to be responsible for me not being happy with the angle, so we're going to set the angle here ourselves on these lights. But we're thinking something like that, actually like that. We're going to kind of keep it a little boat trailer-like. Now, I wish we didn't have the license plate right here because there's so much room to really spread these lights out. But if we're going to have to put the two on this side really tight, we're going to have to put the two on that side tight. I like symmetry. All right, I've got my layout done on the first side here. We're just going to go two out of 45. 45 there. Now the thing we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna be turning one of these into an amber white. So one will be reverse lights and strobe, and then the second one's just gonna be reverse lights itself. And then yes, these are very center on the trailer, so they're not gonna light up super far on the sides, but we've got another idea for that. But first I gotta transfer these marks over to here. One thing I did notice is PJ, when they put in their lighting, the distance from here to the edge of this light is smaller on this side than it is here by a substantial amount. So now you kind of go into the conundrum of do I do it centered off of that to that or do I go off of this light because then visually you might not be able to see it as much. Chris, what should we do? Parker <laughs> holes. Wow. Yeah. Are you impressed? Yeah. I had the best supervisor on it. Nice. Is oh, it payday yet? What? Is it payday yet? I uh, know. 
All right, all the holes are drilled other than the ones to run the wire through the back. Meanwhile, Sergio's getting this side drilled for all the T3 Phoenix lights. Are you done with the wires too, for the wires? The oh wires? yeah, I already got, uh, Chris got it all wired up for you. All right. The strobes and the regular, so he's ran like 42 wires back there. Program them. Yeah, oh yeah, Chris, program them. Um, there's a super sweet thing in there we made for you. Well, now I've got the little gasket that goes on the back of the light here, giving me my spot to drill the hole for the wires to go through. Do our little pilot hole. Come back with our step bit, open her up. Perfect. So all of our holes are done. We're pretty much ready to go. Sergio. It's taking so long. This is all you, this is this is all you gotta do for a living? Yeah. Hey, this is an easy day. Easy day? Easy day. All right. Wanna keep going? Yeah. Keep nah, going. well, let me talk to my union boss. Do I get a break yet? Nope. No? No? <laughs> you gotta figure out what all these do. No, it's easy, man. Okay, that's it. Yeah, man, you got your, uh, this is two, du dual function right here. This is a two color, amber okay. white. Okay. So you're gonna have your uh, ground. Okay. Then you're gonna have your power, your hots for either one, and then you're gonna have your function wire, which is usually the blue one right here. Is that correct? <laughs> function wire or? I, I don't know. Programming. Programming, function, whatever, same, same thing. Was that right? Sync and program, yeah, the blue one. Thanks, son. Now do I get a break? Not bad, not bad. I think I've been hanging out with Sergio too long. Yeah, too long. Now the control box for everything is mounted up underneath right here. You can see it right here. I know it's kind of hard to see. Let's see if the lighting will adjust there. This is going to be the control box. It's going to house the flash controller as well as the wireless remote and the miscellaneous wiring of Sergio tying it into the seven pin trailer wire over there that's going to tie into the reverse lights and the running light. Now to get more side lighting, here's our plan. We're going to take more of the Phoenix work lights, which is what we're going to be using to light up the deck up there. And we're going to mount them here and they're barely going to stick out, but they're not going to be anywhere past the rub rails here. And we're going to use these as angled lights to kind of shoot off at an angle to light up anything behind the trailer as well as showing like the whole back section or anything that's going on over here. And the cool thing is that we're going to line them up perfectly with where these factory installed lights were. So we've already got a hole in the, uh, in the rails here that we can run our wiring and just run a nice bolt through there. Super, super simple install. And then these are going to be tied in as reverse lights as well as they're going to be on a separate switch that way we can use them as work lights. Sergio's getting all of his wire made up for this whole side so I think we've got four wires running through here which are going to catch all of the running lights as well as this white one right here which is going to tie in to power the uh, work light underneath the side. So Sergio's gone ahead and fished a little fish tape from there to here. We're going to tape the wires on, pull them through. We're going to use the center point to pull that way and then we're going to pull back this way. That way we're not trying to pull through the whole length of the frame here. Right now Sergio's working on programming what are going to be the reverse lights. So we've got those on high. So those are going to be the single color ones and the two outside ones are going to be the ones that are white and amber strobe. So they're going to do the backup whites and also flash amber if you flip up the switch. So you can choose to prioritize one. So let's just say you had amber strobes on and you hit it in reverse, you can choose to prioritize that the reverse light is gonna come on and basically eliminate the amber strobe. Or the way we're gonna do it is, I want the amber strobe to be the priority. So that way if I kick it into reverse, those two lights, if the strobes are on, they're gonna stay as strobes. That way if we're backing up into a street or something like that and we kinda of wanna give the warning, we'll have the strobes on that are overriding two of the backup lights. You know which color is the priority? What color is the what? Prioritize. One. Yeah, yeah, um, you always prioritize yellow. <laughs> well, you're right. I, have no, I was right? <laughs> yeah, right. see, you were about to talk crap, Sergio. <laughs> Their Phoenix colors mode one, mode two. And the ones that have mode three, yeah. so they're prioritized by number. So one is less prioritized, two is most prioritized, and three is the most of all of them. So you have all three at the same time, only the third mode will be the um, outstanding pattern. Sergio's little uh, home built rig here yeah. to change the functions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I had to do this because it's really complicated to do by hand only and start twisting wires and then untwisting and then doing all the stuff. So like every kid that ever built a radio at home, you know, <laughs> Sergio went to town over here. It works, it works. It works, it works. The only issue you have if you have dual colors, you have 19 patterns of each color plus dual color patterns too. Oh jeez. So yeah. So that's what we got imagine. here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So you have all the patterns of amber, then all the patterns in white, and then go to amber white. So basically you have to go through each one until you find what you want. All right, so there's a the strobe pattern we're going with on the two rear ones. Let's go. Oh, we got the rear lights on. I actually think it turned out pretty sick. I think it's a cool look. Kind of gives it again that, that kind of boat look there with the angle. Oh, Chris getting down on some Boston baked beans. Oh, he smoke, keeps them hidden in his pocket. Yep. Secret stash? Secret stash. What's our issue? Uh, there should be power coming out of that thing. Constant 12 volts. There's no power. So problem is when I bought the truck, the day I showed up to buy it, the guy was like, 
installing that before I pick the truck up. So yeah, uh, we might have to Great. wire up the back of that seven pin coming out of there. On this side, we've got the work light rigged up here. So this is gonna be again, the reverse light. We'll be able to adjust it at whatever angle works out best to light up anything on the sides of where we're backing up. Right now we're programming the remote here. We got some uh, Frankenstein technology going on. All right, A has been programmed, B. B. B has been programmed. A and B has been programmed. Oh, dang it, Sergio. It's like the 14th time I've hit. <laughs> now Chris hit his head. <laughs> oh, jeez. Sergio, why the hell do you have that there? I would like to thank, I would like to thank the fire department for mandating Palarax only being six foot tall to the top here. You all right, buddy? No, that hurts. You want to see Sergio together? Yes. Uh, we'll get a class action lawsuit. So what I was going to say is we found out that these control boxes, even though they have four buttons, they only control two outputs. Yeah, it depends when you order it, you should have, see if it's two channel or four channel. Yeah. So normally you will see for two channel, two relays, four channel, four relays. Sergio only has the two channels in stock, so we're just gonna double up with the two channels. It'll work off of the same remote. Yeah, exactly, so we're gonna double those two, so we have four of them. I think I got a concussion though. <laughs> Give me your company. <laughs> yeah, hold on, I think about, about all these pallets ought to cover my pain and suffering. We're underneath the trailer right now, getting the final wiring here up into the control box. See all of our loom coming down. No cameras in here. No, no cameras? No, secret stuff. Oh, Shh, secret. <laughs> so, you know, I do the hard stuff, the drilling, you know, snaking some wires, and I let Sergio do the easy part of hooking it all up. Makes him look like the hero. The guy we've been waiting for all day, I placed this phone call six hours ago. He finally made it. 14 hours later. Oh, no, those are an idea. I still gotta go get uh, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. But we had to make a stop at Chick-fil-A first. Christopher. How much food did you get? There you go, bud. I didn't know if you wanted cream and sugar, so I had him put it on the side in a little baggie for you. Okay. So the reason we've been waiting on Dedek is we need some nut certs to oh. be able to put our uh, deck lights that are gonna be on the trailer here. You got a whole bag of nut certs. All of the dyes, nut certs, everything. We're only missing the tool. <laughs> yeah. Which supposedly is in the shop, maybe. I have a feeling I know exactly where it's at. I sure hope you know exactly where it's at. All right, yeah, yeah. couldn't be in this mess over here. Yeah, climb up there in the cast. He was up there. Dedek, I didn't find it, but I found this. Remember, remember this? Stop. <laughs> Too soon. Too soon? The Lexus is fixed, bro. It's not. It's my radio. I have it like every other drive still. Do you see it? Okay. Oh, what was that? Oh, not it was a can of spray. Okay. Not important. My iPhone charger. Oh. Not looking good, guys. Long story short, we've got all the nut certs, but we don't have the nut cert gun, the crimper, the riveter, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, apparently, there's a way you can insert these nut certs without having the gun. And basically, what these are is they're a little threaded insert. So being that we want to install the lights on a two by two channel, I don't want to through bolt all the way through. So if we drill up underneath, we insert one of these, then we can just thread our uh, bolt into it and you'll never see anything up top. Yeah. Sergio, we got the stuff, but we don't have the gun. <laughs> the gun is. It was on my flat, but now it's not there. So we're doing a little testing right now on the reverse lights. And I gotta say, for being two small ones, they're bright and the two middle ones were accidentally programmed to uh, be on dim and not bright. So we gotta reprogram those two middle ones, but just with having the two outside ones as brights, like I'm thoroughly impressed. And again, I think it kind of looks cool. All right, things are starting to come together. We got all the strobes going down the sides working. Ooh, we got the rear strobes working. All the rear lights. I get to play with the remote. Ooh, let's see, hey, look at that. Those lights are gonna be a game changer right there on the sides for backing the trailer up against anything or out, you know, just making sure you can actually see. I'll show you guys what it looks like from this side. And I actually like, do need those when I put the trailer back tonight, but you can see just how nice that's gonna light up the sides when we're backing up into things. These back strobes over here are super bright. So again, you can see the two outside ones that we put on there, those are gonna strobe. So those are the dual color ones. The interior ones are just the white only. All right, so there's gonna be the reverse lights. Now mind you, these are all gonna kick on when the truck goes into reverse, but it'll also be separately switched from this remote just in case we're outside and we need it as work lights or anything like that. We don't have to have the truck in reverse to use these. And then if we shut the strobes off, now everything is all reverse lights. So excited guys, this trailer's turning out to be super rad. I don't think we're gonna get the deck lights on tonight being that we're waiting on the nut certs from Dedic and we don't have the nut cert tool so we're really gonna have to like finagle with it to work without the tool. It's already getting pretty late. We're probably not gonna get to those. Turn those lights off, strobes back on. 
Oh. Boy, look at those reflections. Those boogers are pretty bright. And that's with tinting them, and I don't think they're on the super bright mode. Here's the cool thing. When you got a tailgater that doesn't want to get off or doesn't want to let you into your lane, you just go, ba boom <laughs> And then right there, they're going to open up that lane for you. Or you're going to get a big old fine. One of the two. One of the two. Well, one of the two. I gotta say, guys, I think we did good. Just classy enough. We didn't go with too many lights on it. It's not gonna draw too much attention. But we put more of our spin on it, like, you know, kind of like we do. We gotta have more lighting on everything. The lights turned out great, smoked. I think they blend in real well in the daytime, and they're just bright enough at night. Now we're gonna go put the reverse lights to the test and put this thing back in the driveway. Let's hit Chris with the get out of my lane lights. Boom. Get out of my lane. Boom. Let me over. All right, so that's the dark corner of the driveway we're gonna be putting the trailer in. Perfect test right now of how the reverse lights on this thing work. Looks like we got a bobcat on the trailer when we pulled up next to the neighbor's trailer with their bobcat on the trailer. Trailer, trailer, trailer. Yeah, those lights are a huge help. So you guys can see what it is. I mean, with just the running lights, it's not bad once you're back close up against the wall because the red lights actually light up the wall. But here's what it looks like with just all the reverse lights that we put around this thing. A huge, huge difference. And then we can go all lights off, just the strobe lights on. I gotta say guys, again, super stoked with how this turned out. A huge thank you to Sergio over at IEP. Make sure you guys go follow them on Instagram. They're on Instagram right now. Um, I'll put a link down in the description somewhere to follow. With that, we're gonna wrap up. You'll have to wait till the next video um, when we get the nut cert tool so we can actually put the uh, deck lights on. Might actually have a couple more ideas of lights that we're gonna put on this thing. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed already, please click the subscribe button now that you do not miss out on any future content. Don't forget to give this video a like, a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out workforitapparel.com because if there's anything you want in this life, you gotta be willing to work for it. You guys are the best, I'm out. Damn. Uh. Yeah.